Sam. Okay. My name is Mark Walker. I'm the second child of Jiggs and Jackie Walker. Uh, I was born in uh, 1954 in uh, Tacoma Park, Maryland. And my older brother and I were both born there. My dad had just gotten out of the Navy. And I tell everybody that uh, even though I was born in Maryland, I uh, moved to Texas when I was a year old. I, I, moved, I wanted to move to Texas as fast as I could because I didn't want to be a Yankee. So <laughs> anyway, and I did enjoy a, a wonderful life growing up in West Texas. And uh, like some of my uh, cousins here that are older than me, uh, they remember uh, Grandfather uh, Walker, Grandfather, uh, I mean, Grandmother uh, uh, Walker as well. Uh, and I was, I think we figured up I was four years old when they died, but we lived a long way from Littlefield, and so probably the last time I saw him, I might have been two and a half or three, and I really don't remember him. But uh, the, some of, uh, uh, a uh, similar uh, stories that we have in common that I might uh, uh, share with you guys is uh, I know somebody got up and saying that uh, PW went to uh, Washington and and he went to uh, the Masonic uh, whatever it is the Masa uh, yeah in uh, Washington D.C. and wanted to have a bunch of pictures made to show his uh, Mason brother uh, brothers back here in Texas that. Yeah, he went to the, the big monument in Washington, D.C. And uh, uh, although I did not know him, and he was a master mason, uh, the only son that was a master mason is my father, Jiggs, out of eight boys. And of the three boys of my dad, the only master mason is me. So I feel like that's a real common bind I have with my grandfather that I never knew. So, okay, I'm gonna move on a little bit from there since I didn't know uh, my grandparents that well. Uh, I would like to talk about my father and his love for horses. <laughs> we, uh, he taught us, he was kind of hard on us growing up. Uh, I was riding just about the time I could walk. And then he would always up the ante and we, had, we didn't learn to ride on gentle horses, we had to break our own. And he'd go get these wild horses, and, and they were young. And I remember many a time, he'd saddle one up and he'd buck around there and I'd start crying, and, but he, had, he bluffed us. He, uh, he said, do you want to take a whipping from me or do you want to get on that horse? I said, give me on that horse. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's how it started out, and uh, my older brother John and I, we broke ho uh, horses in the summertime. My dad worked for USDA, and we were raised in the foothills of the uh, Davis Mountains. And my dad would go up, those, up in the mountains of uh, ranchers and see if they had any horses that they needed to be broke, uh, that, needed to be, that needed to be broken. And so that's what we did for summer jobs. Uh, he would bring these horses in and, you know, they could be anywhere from a, a killer bronc to something that was, you know, just almost so broke uh, when you got them. I'll give you an example one time. I never will forget, we went up to the Cherry Canyon Ranch, which uh, is, uh, it was Sonny McElroy's ranch in, uh, I don't know, I guess I was in junior high. And uh, my dad uh, took John and I and had to drive way up these winding roads up in the mountains. And, and uh, Sonny had gathered uh, a, a horse pasture of all these broncs. And he had already had them pinned uh, by the time we got there to the headquarters. And we pulled up in this old 55 Chevrolet pickup, never will forget. And, uh, uh, they already had some uh, uh, Mexican vaqueros uh, topping them out, and right when we pulled up, this 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 uh, Mexican vaquero was uh, riding this this uh, colt that was bucking, and he bucked this uh, 
guy off over the fence right in front of our pickup. My dad went in there and said, I want that horse for my boys. <laughs> oh my God. And while we were there, for the first time, old Sonny had a mule that he needed to, to be broken. And that sucker would buck off every hand that he had. And daddy said, well, that, my boys could break it. <laughs> so we took it back down the valley to Balmeray and, and we would ride that thing. And it was, just, it, was like, it was worse than going to football practice, as much hitting as you got. <laughs> that thing would buck us off and buck us off. And uh, my dad got this like, uh, had it haltered and had this uh, 50 foot lead rope and he'd get on the end of it and let it buck off and, and a lot of it was his fault because he'd get past him and he'd jerk that head around and we'd go flying, you know. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, we never did break that mule. That was the meanest sucker. He would bite you, kick you. And my dad even tied up one of his hind legs to his neck and the, the sucker buck three-legged can buck us off. So, so we sent him back to Sonny, and I think he sent him to slaughter, so. And uh, another, let's see, another story I might say. Uh, we were living out in the country, and, and uh, Uncle Donnie and Aunt Glennis came to see us with their, with their kids, their kids were little. And, uh, and I was on this horse, and I, I wasn't very old, I was, I don't know, eight, no, six, eight years old, something like that. And this horse reared up over backwards and, and my back of my head hit the ground and knocked me out. It was right the time that, uh, that Donnie and his uh, clan showed up in a car and he drove down to the pens and Daddy was there with me, you know, kind of fanning me like this. And then when Donnie got there, he just kind of put me down. Hey, y'all, come on over here. Donnie said, <laughs> Donnie said, well, Jiggs, we need, we need to take Mark to the hospital, don't we? Oh, he'll be okay. Just give, give him a little air. He'll be okay. <laughs> so, so oh, there's some others that, that are a little more raunchy than that, but I think I'll leave it at that. So, anyway. Well, what is the story? It's just cute. It's just short, real short. Oh, I know what it is. Do I have to hang that on me? Is it about, well, like my dad's gravy? <laughs>